There were some tweaks to this year's direct line with Vladimir Putin. Out went the studio audience. In came an array of ministers and regional governors waiting to explain to watching Russians why gas prices are too high or holes in the road unrepaired. As usual, most of the discussion was on domestic affairs, with the oft-repeated message that Russia is heading in the right direction. But Putin rarely wastes an opportunity to tell the West that its political and financial pressure won't work. Defending our interests must be done consistently, not rudely, in the spheres of politics and economy. We have always done that and we will keep doing that. We are always looking for compromises. This pressure will come to an end when our Western partners will realize that the methods they employ are ineffective, counterproductive and harmful to everyone. Russia has highly sophisticated new weapons in development. Negotiate with Russia on global affairs, he urged, or risk escalating conflict. The understanding that the Third World War will be the end of civilization, this understanding must restrain us from extreme and dangerous steps in the international arena. Russia's renewed capacity for hard power projection is most apparent right now in Syria. And Putin said there is no immediate end to Russia's military involvement there. Our forces are deployed there to secure Russia's interests in this vital region of the world, which is very close to our territory, and they will remain there as long as it is beneficial for Russia. Putin assured Russians that stadiums and facilities must be used properly after the games to benefit children and Russian sport, and of course he hopes the home side will do well. We hope that our national soccer team will shoot up in the upcoming tournament and will show its best qualities. The chances of that are questionable to say the least. As Putin acknowledged, the team's recent form hasn't exactly been stellar.